Winter is just not letting up this year. It's still snowing out. I'm in night. Go over. Your mom don't want you to. I really came out here to check on Lucy. Because I noticed she wasn't eating as much today as she usually does. Which is usually a sign that something is going to happen, but not always. Um, she's the only one I have left to lamb. And. When you're lambing, you end up looking at a lot of back ends, and it's kind of swollen, but not as swollen as it probably is going to get, which tells me she's probably not going to lamb tonight, like I thought maybe she would. <laughs> Why are you guys so loud, Grace? So we keep this kind of giant snow and hay pack down until the rest of the ground dries up, which as you can see is going to take a long time. And that's just so the sheep aren't in the mud. It works pretty good. Doesn't it, Grace? She's in agreement. Actually, she just wants more hay. That's all she cares about. How's your cud? <coughs> I've just been keeping the seat lamp on so they can just come back here and stay warm with the door open whenever they feel like it. <coughs> There's just a big old pile of lambs in here. Hey guys. Look at you. Just trying to stay cozy warm. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, Grace. You guys staying toasty? You gonna let me scratch you or are you gonna run away from me? Hmm? This is the boy, Gray. Oh, he like, I'll oh, come get my mom. She wants her mom. What about you two? These are Pearl's twins. The mom who was being pretty naughty. Um, but I kind of just stopped worrying about him. Honestly, I feel like the more I came out and messed with her, the worse it was. And he is just fattening up like none other. He's probably fatter than, the, than his twin. So I'm just not even worrying about him. Even though it still made me mad to watch uh, Pearl kick him around. I decided to just, because he's thriving and he's so vigorous, to just not even worry about it. Hey, you nibbling on my sweater? And then this one, I don't know, this one might be my favorite in the cuteness factor this year. She is so cute. I need more gray fleeces in my flock, and I think she's going to have a really, really soft soft gray fleece. So the the trick to taming sheep or to have tame sheep is to just love on them a lot when they're lambs. And that really is the difference that I find. The ones that I haven't gotten to spend or made as much time um made time to spend with them are my wilder sheep. There's some that just seem to want to be wild no matter what. But for the most part, just loving on them when they're little, if you plan to keep them around, just makes them that much more tame when they're older. Which also makes them a lot easier to manage. It's not always possible if you have a bigger operation, but with a smaller operation like mine, it really does help. And then I need to be able to halter train maybe at least one sheep in each generation, just so that I can be able to move them around with halters, it's it's easier for me with my size of flock and not having a dog to help me move them or manage them. It's just so nice when they're not 
crazy and flighty and wild. I, they just let me work them. I can do their jackets. I can um, put them in their lambing jugs super easily. Whatever else I need to do with them. It's just it's so much nicer to have really tame animals to manage. Um, one thing with the rams, if you're going to keep a ram around, you don't want to get in the habit of scratching it on the top of its head because I guess that promotes bad behavior later on, but it's okay under the chin. Um, if, if you are like, if your lamb is like, or your lamb ram is like a lap dog, that might turn into a bad thing if he's not castrated. He might not ever really respect you, and he might try to challenge you then when he's older. So you want to kind of be careful with your rams that you don't get, um, which is hard, honestly. This one is so friendly, and he's like pretty attached to me because this is the one that I was worried about not getting enough milk. So I was coming out here, and I was giving him bottles and checking on him, and loving on him and now he's very friendly and I'll probably end up having to eat him which is kind of sad but we'll love him while he's here you too hey little girl you might replace your mama so you have to grow up to be a nice sheep all right I hope you are having a great I hope you had a great Easter weekend it was really nice we had a lot of good food and fellowship and just worship it was awesome so hope you had a lovely easter and we'll see you soon bye bye